In the Deep End Show with Coach Murat alongside, let's go back to the May 11th meet. It was the home opener for the Strawberry Seals. You gave Sleepy Hollow everything you could, and still, same result, Sleepy Hollow wins again. I'm curious, as the meet goes on, from a point standpoint, what creates the separation where Sleepy Hollow always seems to come out on top? It's Sleepy Hollow has tremendous depth in their team. So you, you could remove their fastest swimmer in every event, and they would still win most of the events. Um, it, it's a product of having great coaching, I think, for decades. Every event, they have strong kids, um, and not just one, but maybe three, four, five of them. So it, it produces a, a really daunting challenge for any team trying you know, to compete with them in the points department. Okay, so it's kind of a strength in numbers type of thing. Uh, you brought up uh, Coach Anderson. There was a moment during the meet where you guys were conversing. Could you share with us a little bit about what was said between you two? A lot of it was just coaching gossip, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, we, we were talking also about uh, his program and what he does to produce such fast sprinters. So, you know, I was asking him what his uh, general practice routine is. Okay, all right. Well, in this sport, boy, you got to have short-term memory with a, with a meet every weekend. So along comes Swim Marin. What do you take from the May 11th meet to apply to Swim Marin coming in here? Well, we've the first two weeks, we were focusing on our kids' strong strokes. Mm -hmm. We'd like our kids to expand their definitions of, you know, who they are as swimmers so that they don't get locked into thinking, you know, they're a freestyler or a butterfly or overly specialized at a young age. So the, we want to use the next uh, week as an opportunity to get on some off strokes and, you know, to see how much they've progressed and the strokes that they generally don't focus on at meets. Hey, one thing about your swimmers and I guess the team in itself is this unique buddy system program that you have that just kind of matches the veteran swimmer, maybe with the younger swimmer, formulating some kind of a bond. Where in the world that come from and why does it work? The, the buddy system, I'm not sure when it started here. Mm. It's, it, it was here when, when I came back to the team already. It was in place. I'm Josh and... Um, Are you kind of like the big buddy to uh, these girls here? Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. So, and, and what do we have here? Um, well, um, like every week we, um, we had to give gifts to our buddies and so, um, uh, yeah, so, they don't have a gift, yeah, uh, no, they don't have a gift. So, you just, um, give them to your buddies and then, uh, yeah, you do it like every week. And you cheer them on. And you cheer them on, huh? The buddy system works so well, I think, because we have older kids also who are really willing participants. You know, it's not something we force on them. It's actually something they they seek out and they want to do. So, you know, they, they see it as not so much a duty, but a privilege. And I think that's that helps the success. Hey, it says Alex on the bag. Who's Alex? Right here. You're and uh, how's it going so far? Good. All right, what's the best thing about being buddies? Because I get to see my buddy every week. Hey, you buddies out there, hey, you'll be bonding away moving forward because, again, Swim Marin is coming in here, and uh, we'll need the seal spirit, we'll need the ability, and we'll need a gallon effort to come in here when Swim Marin hits next Saturday. That'll do it for the In the Deep End show with Coach Barad. I'm Vern Glenn. Check out for more updates right here on strawberryseals.com.